Today is going to be an exhibition on how well I can memorize the details of this vehicle which just arrived, 2018 Mazda CX-5. This is the Grand Touring all-wheel drive. It comes in three trim levels, Sport, Touring, and Grand Touring. This just arrived, so I got it yesterday. I drove a little bit around town to, uh, today and yesterday, so my seat position is going to be good for when I do my backseat demo. So Sport, Touring, Grand Touring. We have the Grand Touring all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive is standard. Under the hood, there are some new things this year which I will put in my full report when I at the end of the week. But under the hood, it's a 2.5 liter four cylinder made it to a six speed automatic transmission, 187 horses, 186 pound feet of torque, uh, rolling on 19 inch wheels. How am I doing so far? Go ahead and comment below if you want to test me or uh, critique me on my memoriza memorization of all these numbers. Um, I'm going to lock it here. Hear that beep? Uh, these don't close, but you do have it light up when um, you do lock it up. So press this button here to unlock it. Now we can go in, I'll give you a little tour of what I've experienced in so far this week and then <clears throat> end of my week I'll do my full detailed review. So let's go ahead and do this part. Push button start, just like last year. Only a couple things as I looked on my uh, list here of what's new for 2018. A lot of the stuff you'll probably recognize. Uh, no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Touch screen, should be touch screen, come on. Yes, touch screen when you're parked. Other than that, it's gonna be all down here when you're driving around. One thing that we noticed is that if you do buy some drinks or some sodas or whatever, in the cup holder here, your elbow might end up touching those. So they might wanna rethink, they're not gonna rethink it, I'm just, my opinion, right? Moving those cup holders, but based on how this center stack is, probably not gonna change. Uh, you see what else we got here? Oh, sport mode, parking hold. This is like the park brake. It lights up there in the red. There's your instrument cluster, just like last time. So I guess I have put uh, 60 miles on it in last day and a half. Interesting. 22 is the average so far. This is rated at 24 city, 30 highway. We'll see what I end up getting on the average once it's all said and done. Steering wheel mounted controls. Usual suspects here from last time. You can't answer the phone by pressing these buttons here because I had it hooked up. This is where you have two, two USB ports right there. I've got one here for my smartphone. These little spots here. There you go. Really beautiful leather interior. This car really looks and feels more expensive than the price point, which I'll tell you at the very, very end. So heated seats, yes. Here's steering wheel, heated seat for the passenger usual stuff with the climate control. There is a heads up display right there. What I like about it this time around as compared to other Mazdas, there's no plastic thing that pops up. It's just shining on your windshield. So there you go, that's nice. Uh, we have, as I turn this around, one take, uh, sliding sunroof. We got uh, four O-Blank candles. What's an O-Blank candle? Those are the handles that you grab and usually say a, a bad word like, oh shh. I always say, oh, blank. Oh, I'll unlock it one more time. One more time, there you go. So that's where I've been driving the last day and a half, last 60 miles. So here's your realistic leg room for a guy who's 5'11", headroom for a guy who's 5'11". Is there an indent? Yes, there is. You can clearly see that there. Fold down armrest, yes, oh. Maybe this is expected on the Grand Touring, but I have heated seats for both passengers back here. Oh, two USB ports. Love that. You got to have that. And this looks like a 60-40 split. So, yeah, this is comfortable. They call this a compact crossover. Didn't that look bigger than it should be for a compact crossover? Um, of course, you're going to get bigger with the, uh, the CX-9. Now, I'd say that uh, front-wheel drive is standard, right? And all-wheel drive is optional, which we have in ours. So they say behind here is 30.9 cubic feet of cargo space. Look it up and then try to correct me. Uh, fold those down. Oh, it's a 40-20-40 it's a fold-down split. Oh, here we go. And if I can get the, the, the glare there, yeah. Pulling this should open one of those, which it does. And then... You got the middle one, the baby, and then you got its uh, big brother. There we go. 
So those will fold down flush. So with this folded all the way down when it is flush, it's just under 60 cubic feet of cargo volume. And you close it up by pressing this button here. Again, this is just a first look at this vehicle since it just arrived here yesterday. This is very popular with my viewers. So if you are just joining me, uh, Mazas are very popular. I took this vehicle off-road uh, four or five years ago, not this one, of course, and one of the most, most popular off-road videos. So price point, between twenty-two dollars and $31,000 if you go with the Sport and front-wheel drive, all the way up to Grand Touring and all-wheel drive, which we have here. So this one is just under $31,000. We also have a premium package on this, so I think it's just under thirty-four grand. Anyways, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me do or some more information about it besides what's going to be new for 2018, leave in the comment section below. If you want to grade my memory, I did all this one take and I think I got all my stats right. Uh, leave that in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And if you want to see more, subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll be notified when I do upload new videos, which I do uh, one, two, three times a week. All right, got to go. Thanks for watching. Adios. How do you know you're getting the best deal on a new or used car? Call 844-765-0610. Make one phone call to hear about all the great deals near you. We know all the brands and all the best deals. We're not a dealer. We're here to help you find the right car. Call 844-765-0610 today.